uh, down towards the end of my pilot's license, you know, I was just like, I came back here to fly with my original instructor I spent like seven hours with, and I was like, man, I really like how the Cessna flies. Two four one Zulu at the FBO, ready for taxi, BFR. We just like one lap in the pattern. Four one Zulu, runway one eight, taxi via taxiway Alpha altimeter three zero zero nine. Runway one eight, taxi via Alpha four one Zulu. Power's in full. No pressure off the nose. Things in the green. And we're up. And so and then I flew his. 182 and then Cessna brought over a 206 and I tried it out and I was just like man I, I know it's a little slower than the SR22 but the useful load and a whole lot more comfortable. Being a new pilot typically don't do things unless I'm an expert at it and being a business guy and entrepreneur like the hiring consultants is just what you do when you just it's just dumb to go blaze a trail and burn money trying to learn what other people have already learned. And I feel like buying an airplane is a little bit similar thing. I mean, there's there's so much to it that I don't know, I'm not sure about. And um, obviously, Van Borda does a great job of advertising. And it's funny because you kind of get a bad rap from other salespeople when you call them and you're like, hey, I might buy a plane. Oh, you're going to pay an arm and a leg for that. I couldn't really tell that the prices were that much higher, but the thing is, it just hands down, everybody agreed that they really go through those planes front to back. You really know what you're getting. So I called up Jackson Van Bordel, and he actually had worked with a friend of mine, and actually the guy used his anger. Man, I called Jackson. I was like, hey, I really want to get a two of six, but I kind of want one with, I've been used to flying Sears planes, so I kind of want one that's decked out. And, I really want air conditioning. Lo and behold, he found one and called me up, and uh, it was so simple, man. They flew the plane over, you know, got to check it all out, and and he, even after having the plane, there were a couple small things, you know, we missed, and they've done right by it, so it's just, the level of service is crazy. Especially somebody that doesn't really know what they're doing. They're gonna make sure the plane's right. They're gonna make sure everything is good. I'm not worried about having to figure out, is this guy over here that they don't really know is he, is he a good mechanic? Does he really know everything? Did he check it all? I mean, I would recommend Van Bortle to anybody.